experience a very warm welcome on the youtube channel finalist ias so our today's topic for discussion is the reusable launch vehicle which was successfully landed by the isro drdo and indian air force has also its role in it So we'll start via news. What is RLVTD? Then we'll see some things about the mission, how it happened, and all. Then what are the advantages of using this reusable launch vehicle? What are the other launch vehicles which our ISRO have? Then other agencies which are using or have used this technology. After that, we'll be discussing our today's prelims practice question, which would be based on this. So this is the vehicle. We'll start via news. So ISRO was joined by DRDO the Indian Air Force and they have successfully conducted the reusable launch vehicle autonomous landing mission which was RLV Lex at the aeronautical test range which is at Chitradurg Karnataka in the early hours of the April 2 recently and Indian Air Force Chinook helicopter was used to drop this RLV TD from a 4.5 km altitude and after that ISRO executed the landing experiment of this as it was planned what is this rlv td so it is a wing space launch vehicle this is the vehicle and it is launched like a rocket but it flies back down like a glider it can fly at hypersonic speeds speeds which are greater than 5 times the speed of sound which can reach up to 6174 km per hour there are also 600 heat resistant tiles which cover this rlv on its underside what why is it important to protect it from the high temperatures which are encountered while re-entering in the earth atmosphere at a high speed or hypersonic speed the rlv td it's a 6.5 meter long wingspan is of 3.6 meters the weight is about 1.75 tons and it is controlled like an airplane using control surfaces called elevons and rudder this is the elevon and this is the rudder these are used to control it now the launch stack is made up of rlv td vehicle and there is also a rocket booster which is called hs9 the use of this rocket booster is to lift the vehicle into the upper atmosphere and accelerate it at the hypersonic speeds as well now we'll see about the mission so it was the second of the five tests and also a part of isro's efforts to develop space plane shuttles that can travel to low earth orbits it can deliver the payloads and then it can return to the earth for reuse able it can be used again after that so it was lifted by a chinook helicopter of the indian air force which carried it as an underslung road load to a height of 4.5 km above the mean sea level and from there the helicopter dropped it then isro managed to land it carefully now isro achieved a successful autonomous landing of this which was released autonomously and completed landing maneuvers using an integrated navigation guidance and control system the landing was carried out under conditions which was similar to those which are experienced by a space reentry vehicle including there was high speed unmanned landing was there and also precise landing from the same return path was there it is first in the world that a winged body has been carried up to this height by a helicopter and released for carrying out this autonomous landing on a runway it was one of a kind experiment this is how this reusable launch vehicle works there is a propeller or a rocket it helps it to go into the upper atmosphere then it would be separated the payload can be just dropped into the space and it comes down these are the heating uh, prevention shields which prevents it and it can come down there would be aerodynamic control and then it can be reused this is how it works what are the advantage of using it so the main advantage is high costs were a major setback to the space exploration and a reusable vehicle is considered a low cost it is more reliable and on demand mode of accessing space as well moreover the former isro chairman who was kc van he said that nearly 80 to 87% of the cost of the whole space launch vehicle it just goes into the structure of the vehicle so this cost can be cut down 
and by using this RLBs, the cost of a launch can be reduced nearly 80% of the present cost. This is how it can be done. There are some other launch vehicles of the ISRO as well. So there is Satellite Launch Vehicle 3, there is Augmented Satellite Launch Vehicles, there is PSLV or Poro Satellite Launch Vehicles, there is GSLV Mark 1 and Mark 2nd, and this is the largest which ISRO have, that is GSLV Mark 3rd. The weight is 630 tons and all. Recently 36 satellites were also launched by using this vehicle. Other agencies which use this reusable launch vehicle technique are NASA. NASA have carried out a dozen of experiments using this and the SpaceX has been demonstrating partially reusable launch systems with its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets since 2017. But SpaceX is also working on a fully reusable launch vehicle system. The name is Starship. So this is how it is. Now let's discuss our today's prelims practice question which is based on the topic which you have read or understood recently. Consider the following statements. Reusable launch vehicle is a type of spacecraft that looks like an airplane with wings. A reusable launch vehicle is considered a low cost reliable on demand mode of accessing the space. Which of the above statements is are correct? This was all about today's video and session. Thank you. Have a great day. Hope you understood this. If you are new to the channel, subscribe so you can get our notifications on a daily basis.